Welcome to Micro Adventure World. My name is still Derek Cullen and I'm hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. I left Mount Laguna today. If you don't know why I've been there for two days, go check out my previous video. But otherwise, you know what? I would have stayed in Mount Laguna for a couple of days anyway because I started to feel a lot of pain in my left foot. I think similar to somebody mentioned stress fracture. I don't know, could be. But I overdid it the day before out of sheer excitement and eagerness to get to Mount Laguna for the reason that's in the previous video. So if you've watched it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go and watch it. It's a real privilege to be out here. Sometimes I feel it's the only way left on this planet that we can properly explore, you know, walking in this wilderness. It's very traditional, a very simple process, but very traditional. There's no real destination for today. I'm just gonna hike for around 10 maybe 12 miles. I know there's a water source there and uh, the next day I'll hike for around the same amount of time but uh, otherwise just hiking today taking a cruisy. It's a bit colder than normally. I know it's sunny but there's a cold breeze on top of these mountains and last night was freezing. I mentioned it in an update yesterday. Last night was so cold. I was wearing my down jacket. I was wearing my uh, leggings my socks inside my sleeping bag and I could still tell it was cold out. Guys, look at this. Just look at this. The scenery keeps changing. Uh, the proper, proper desert is up ahead. See a little bit of it on the, the right hand side here as I'm walking. But this now is very green. Got all these dead trees. It's just stunning. It really is stunning. And the trail is still beautiful. Look at this trail. You know, I keep talking about the tread and it is beautiful. It's flat and so on, but this trail just feels magical the way it twists and turns and winds its way through the landscapes. I am having a blast. Honestly, this trail, this experience so far, I'm only a few days in and it's surpassed every expectation I ever had of the PCT and trust me, I had high, high hopes for this. sitting in my sleeping bag here and it's only uh hold on <laughs> can't get the watch out 20 past six it's 20 past six and i'm in bed the thing is sometimes early nights and high hopes are not enough if you're following my recent posts, you'll know that my foot was sore or has been sore. I took two days to, of rest in Mount Laguna and I hiked 10 miles yesterday. Didn't really feel it during the day, but when I stopped, oh boy, the end of the day, it was sore. So I, I'm pretty certain it's a stress fracture. The only thing I can do for that is rest. It would appear the two days that I rested was, was good for it, obviously, but just not enough. And for that reason, I've decided it's wise not to take on the next 17 mile stretch uh, just yet and to, to rest up. So it really pains me because my whole body is strong. My shoulders, chest, muscles, legs, everything feeling really strong. But uh, my foot, you know, it's not gonna do any good to hike 17 miles today. And I'll probably set my, myself back a, a lot, a lot, a hell of a lot further. I think in the past I would have just hiked this and pushed through the pain, but it's, I think it's just one of those injuries that's not gonna work itself out. And I think this is the sensible decision and uh, a decision that will allow me to push on uh, later on. So thank you for being here. Thank you for following the trip. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day. So from me at the Pacific Crest Trail, I will talk to you soon. I'm not gonna lie, the injury makes me wonder if I can go any further on the trail, but it's not getting me down. I'm just, man, I'm so pleased to have made it here.